check it out got a question for you ever wonder why slap groove sounds so good in an open key we're going to be talking about that today let's go so as you guys can see i was playing a slap groove or a funk groove in the key of e but then i moved it and shifted it up to the key of g and i'll tell you why i did that i did that because sometimes we can get comfortable playing in an open key and it feels good playing in that open e because we can have that drone and play <laughs> have that open E just drone out and just have it do whatever we want and play on top of that. So sometimes it's a little bit more comfortable to play that open E or the open A. So as you guys can see, it makes it a little bit easier to slap in those open keys. It gives you a little bit more creativity on what you can do, especially when you can drone that open string out. So what I suggest to you is just very simple. It's just taking the same groove or starting basic or taking the same type of groove and shifting it up a half step, a whole step, doesn't matter, on a fretted string or a fretted note. So if you're playing in the key of E, obviously you wanna move that to F or F sharp or G, doesn't matter. In the example in the beginning, I moved it from E to G. I just moved it up a minor third. And it was just simple for me to do that. But you can move it up in half steps as well. Start off very basic. I just moved it up a half step to F. Instead of playing an E. back to E. So going back and forth from E to F, from E to F, noticing that you have to actually utilize the fretted F instead of the open E. So now you have to move your hands just a little bit more, try to figure out where you are on the fretboard. So just knowing that, knowing that I can do that same formation from the minor seven to the one, I can do that here, or I can keep it here, but then I'll have to jump all the way to the first fret for that E, that, I mean that low F. And that's a harder movement to do and sometimes it doesn't sound the same it doesn't have the same intensity as playing it here that same tonality as playing it on the a string and being able to pluck that open e string but now you have to utilize the d string to hit that f the e flat to the f see what i mean so just something very simple with playing slap grooves and i know most of the time you're playing a consistent or repetitive So you're playing a repetitive type of open drone or open E string, uh, but sometimes you can't really do that with another fretted note. So you have to figure out a way to do it. So what I did sometimes, if you notice, my thumb came over the fretboard, which sometimes or some a lot of people call it a no-no. I know when I was first learning, uh, I know a lot of guys told me that was a very bad habit to do, but sometimes if you can get away with it and it makes it easier for you, I say by all means, go ahead and break the rules. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, if it makes it comfortable for you, that's the way that I can get it out quicker and more efficient. So sometimes my thumb will come over the fretboard and that's totally fine. So back to what I was saying. So you have to move. You have to figure out what's the best position for you to utilize that. And if you're playing that open drone, you have to figure out, okay, now where my position, where my left hand position can be in order to so sometimes it's a little bit more difficult but that's why we have to practice because we don't want to become the guy that's you know very fluent in slap bass in an open key an e or a uh but we can't play an f sharp or f or e flat doesn't matter so we can't can't be that guy so you want to be able to utilize these frets 
And actually, like even licks and fills and things like that, I think I went uh, in the beginning. It's part of a blues scale. <laughs> Just part of a blue scale that I did, and even moving that to the key of G. Utilizing those open strings, knowing how to do that first. Open G, E, open D. I don't have that luxury when I move up to the key of G. Well, I, in some ways I can. I can play that open G there, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I can play that fret G right there on the D string. Or it doesn't matter, I can go up to uh, A flat. <laughs> Back to E. Just knowing the positioning of both open string and fretted string is very important. I guess that's what I'm trying to portray to you guys and try to get you guys to understand. Don't just slap in an open key, but utilize the other notes, utilize the other keys to be able to do that same thing. So say if you're going to a gig or um, you're somewhere and you're playing this crazy. You're playing this, well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you're playing this crazy slap groove, right? And everybody's hearing you. It's like, okay, let's go with that tonight, but let's do it in A flat. <laughs> You know, then you can't get scared of that key. You have to be able to slap the same exact way in an, a fretted key than you would in an open string. So that's it, guys. Don't want to talk too much about that. Just wanted to let you guys know and show you guys some demonstrations of just moving and how you can move and practice just half steps even. Because once you're in E, you move a half step up, you're in F, right? So that's probably the most trickiest key to do because we, we're we right here on the edge of the, at the edge of the bass and we have to utilize these notes here instead of the open ones that we're used to. So anyway, take your notes slow, make sure they're coming out clean, clear, and precise, like I always say. Oh yeah, and I always forget this. If you guys haven't subscribed yet and you're watching here and you've been watching for a while, hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And if you haven't subscribed, do the same thing. Make sure you check the notification bell icon and check the all notifications button so you can get notified every single time we upload a video here on the channel, sometimes more than twice a week. So I want you to get notified of that. Also, just notice, almost at 100,000 followers. This is July, is this the end of July, almost August? Yeah, probably will come out on August, 1st of August or, I don't know, anyway, my days are all messed up. But anyway, it'll be great and it'll mean the world to me if you guys can help me reach that crazy milestone of 100K. Uh, it'll be more to come and this is just absolutely crazy and been a crazy journey with you guys. You guys are awesome. It's great to see you guys inside of the Base Nation Academy as well. Those subscribers who have transitioned into the Base Nation Academy. If you want to check that out, link will be in the description. Uh, everything you need to know about bass. If you want to enhance your bass playing to that next level, that's where you want to go. That's where you want to be. But anyway, go check it out. I don't want to talk too much about that. And uh, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise if I haven't said it already. And check you guys in the next one. Peace.